What is sexual preference, anyway? During the Judge Barrett hearings, Democrats schooled Americans and Judge Barrett on the meaning of the phrase sexual preference, which they claimed that Judge Barrett misunderstands, and they scolded her publicly for the way that she used the term. Now, apparently, the current intellectual orthodoxy in the LGBTQ community considers sexuality and gender identity to be inherent. Okay, that's been cleared up for us now. Now, what does this mean exactly? Sexuality and gender identity are inherent. Maybe they have come full circle now and believe that gender identity is inherent. And the gender that the gender one is born with is one's inherent gender identity. It's pretty simple. Male or female, and this is the inherent sexuality of the child. He has no choice in the matter. He's born with it, and so it's inherent. And so, a little history here. For at least four decades, I remember this definition back when I was in college. The term sexual preference has meant a person's preferred form of sexually deviant activity, which was to be celebrated by society rather than condemned as deviant or morally wrong. That's, that's what it meant back then. And in the last three decades, countless sexual special interests pressured the media and education and the courts and the legislatures to grant them special privileges and to recognize as normative almost every form of copulation outside of marriage. That's what they lobbied for, and then that's what many of them have received. They want us to celebrate that as normative. Now, now something's different according to the Democrats, and we saw it on television during the hearings. It appears that the definition has really changed, and I'm certain now that employers all over the country are really relieved to hear this new definition that sexuality and gender identity are inherent, not some preferred form of activity that we have to keep track of, you know, the dozens and dozens and dozens different forms of activity. And so this really simplifies things, I believe, from now on for labor law. Two simple inherent genders to deal with now that you're born with. Not something that one prefers, but what you're born with. So I'd like to say thank you, Democrats, for clarifying that new legal definition for us.